I'm a bit late uh, and a number of things. I've just been out for, for a run and, and just mistimed everything and uh, jumped in the shower as soon as I got home and uh, almost was ready in time, but Facebook, not Facebook, my, my computer's been on a bit of a go slow, uh, a little bit like me, I suppose. Um, but, uh, but welcome here this morning um, for, for morning prayer. Uh, we're going to use we're going to use the um, traditional language BCP language today. Um, due to my inability to uh, run quicker, and uh, due to the slowness of my computer as well. Um, if I was earlier, it'd have been all right. Um, I've not had a chance to put the link on, but hopefully you're all familiar with the website now. Um, if you go to join us, you go to the normal website we go to, and then and more options gives you the choice of type of service that you want. If you click on traditional language, you'll get the B, um, BCP version. Um, I hope you're well this morning. Um, I hope you're getting a chance to at least enjoy the sunshine, even if it is kind of sitting out in the if it's sitting out in the garden or if it's getting a chance to sit out in a nice sunny place in uh, sit in a nice sunny place in your homes um i hope you get a chance to just enjoy it it's starting to get just a little bit warmer i suppose um but again we're having some really glorious days at the moment oh i seem to have frozen not go over there i don't know if i froze there um just a reminder that tomorrow morning will be um morning prep sorry not one prep we'll be worship together and uh, please do um please do come and join in it probably won't be all things being well it, it probably won't be a, a live service like this but something recorded again um uh, and so just keep an eye on um both the, the website um on our youtube page and then together here we'll be able to um we will we can watch it together and it will be on the facebook page in in the um tomorrow morning that's at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning um other notices well ascension day is this thursday and i'd like to draw your attention to the fact that we will have a service at seven o'clock on, um on thursday but on ascension day don't quite know what form that's going to take yet I haven't thought, thought quite thought that far ahead whether it's going to be something here or whether that's going to be something recorded i'm not quite sure but we'll we'll wait and see um, and then the Kingdom Come resources that are around on the notice sheet, there will be some links and we'll put some links on the Facebook page and on the website as well for you to be able to interact. And there's uh, things like a, a prayer walks, um, oh, sorry, a prayer map, prayer map and uh, a prayer app as well. I'm looking forward to using that. Um, and it's especially for, it's for everybody, but it's, it's um, as you can imagine, it, it, it will hold particular fascination for perhaps younger people or maybe younger at heart still preserved in that time so welcome as we come together hopefully you have the service in front of you we'll scroll down just a little bit to the slightly shorter introduction beloved we are come together in the presence of almighty god and of the whole company of heaven to offer unto him through our Lord Jesus Christ our worship and praise and thanksgiving to make confession of our sins to pray as well for others as well for ourselves as well for others as for ourselves that we may know more truly the greatness of God's love and show forth in our lives the fruits of his grace and to ask on behalf of all such things as their well-being doth require wherefore let us need let us sit or kneel or whatever you may be doing in silence and remember god's presence with us now and we say together almighty and most merciful father we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. 
and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Jesus Christ our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he, he or she may turn from his wickedness and live, and hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people the impenitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardon and absolve them all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe in his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those may please him which we do at this presence. Sorry, that those things may please him which we do at this, pre at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come, come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show forth and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works. Forty years long I was grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways and to whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come to Psalm 80, sorry, Psalm 79. Psalm 79. I'm sorry if this is not one, the one on the uh, notice sheet. O God, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. The holy temple have they defiled and made Jerusalem a he an heap of stones. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to the meat and to the fowls of the air. And the flesh of thy saints and to the beasts of the land. Their blood have they shed like water on every side of Jerusalem, and there was no man to bury them. We are become an open shame to our enemies, 
a very scorn and derision unto them that are round about us. Lord, how long wilt thou, thou be angry? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire for ever? Pour out thy indignation upon the heathen that have, come, have not known thee, and upon their kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste to his dwelling place. I remember not our old sins, but have mercy upon us, and that soon we are come to great misery. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of thy name. O deliver us and be merciful unto our sins for thy name's sake. Wherefore do the heathen say, Where is now their God? O let the vengeance of thy servant's blood that is shed be openly showed upon the heathen in our sight. O let the sorrowful sighing of the prisoners come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. And for the blasphemy wherewith our neighbours have blasphemed thee, Reward thou them, O Lord, sevenfold into their bosom. So we that are thy people and sheep of thy pasture shall give thee thanks for ever and will always be showing forth thy praise from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be, world without end. Amen. Now come to the te, te Deum Lordmas. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud the heavens and all powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of the Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of thy majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the worlds doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty thine honourable, true and only Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe thou that shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inher they heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Thought I was getting used to that. Um, um, thought I was getting used to that with heritage, but still, I said inheritance. I need to get my eyes tested. Should have gone to spec saves, and indeed I did. We now come to our gospel reading, and we're continuing with the Gospel of Luke. So it's Luke chapter six beginning to read at verse 12. Luke chapter six, verse 12. And it came to pass in those days that when he went out in, into a mountain to pray, 
and continued all night in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples. And of them he chose twelve, whom he also he whom also he named apostles, Simon, whom he called also named Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called the Zealot, and and Judas the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which also was the traitor. And he came down with them and stood in the in the plain and the company of his disciples and the great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye, the poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye that men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your great your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Whether it's uh, common worship or the Book of Common Prayer, canticles uh, such as the Benedictus, which we're about to say, we we use. Um, they stand the test of time right from the time that they were written all those years ago or spoken by Zechariah all those years ago. So let's join together with thousands and millions of people today and thousands and millions of people through history as we say this together. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And he spoke by the mouth of the holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our our forefather Abraham, that he would give us, that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day sprung from on high hath visited us, to give give light to them that sit in darkness, and to guide and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Continue with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven 
and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. End you, thy ministers, with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only thou, O God. O God, may clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We have the we have three collects. We have the collect for the day, the collect for peace, and the collect for grace. Please do feel free to join in or to, to partake as you wish. O Almighty God, who alone cast order, order the unruly wills and affections of sinful men, grant unto thy people that they may love the thing which thou commandest, and desirest that which thou dost promise that so among the sundry and manifold changes of the world, our hearts may surely be there be fixed where true joys are to be found through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us thy humble servants in all the assaults of our enemies that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but thou, all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always what that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now going to continue our prayer, our prayers, sorry, uh, using prayers that have been specially um, written for this time. And um, just need to find them. Get there eventually. So let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. In this time of uncertainty and distress, sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour 
and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. In this time of uncertainty and anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of our love and your love for your name's sake. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid or in isolation. And Lord, we pray and lift those before you whom we know are poorly, not necessarily with COVID, but those whom we know are heavy in heart, are troubled in body, mind or spirit. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And merciful Lord, we entrust into your tender care all those that are on our minds and on our hearts at this time. For all of those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work, many will be restored to health. And we pray for our doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, carers, domiciliary carers, all those that are working in hospitals, all those that are working in care homes and in the community, all those in public health, all those that are doing so many things, all those that are volunteering to deliver things, to collect things, to transport people. Thank you for their work, Lord. We pray that they will find your protection and your assurance through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oh God, help us to trust you. Help us to know that you are with us. Help us to believe that nothing can separate us from your love revealed in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are not people of fear. We are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God giving and loving, wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Amen. As we close, let's share the grace with one another, safe in the knowledge that we are binded by God, we are binded by his spirit, so that uh, he hears us and knows that we are here in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you very, very much for joining, um, joining me today. I'm sorry about the kind of rather haphazard start to the, to the morning. Um, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have, um, hope you feel God's blessings. I hope you get chance to, if you do get a chance to go outside. Please do stay safe. And um, we're starting just starting, perhaps to see people a little bit more. Um, you know, at a safe distance, one person at a time. Um, but I do, I do hope you have a wonderful day and you feel feel God's blessings. So I look forward to being together again soon and pray for that day. But in the meantime, uh, God bless and uh, stay safe. See you soon.